Welcome back to season six of my Oklahoma Sooners Death Penalty Dynasty. Today, we are in week 10, taking on the zero and seven UCF Knights. Before I go look at their quarterback, running back and receiver, like I always do, I will say we have had a pretty easy schedule this season. We only have one team so far that still has a winning record, and that is UNC at six and two. Houston only had one win when we played them last week. Kansas only had one win when we played them a couple weeks ago. And Nebraska is the defending national champions, but have yet to win a single game this year. So I thought putting them on the schedule would make us look really good. We only beat them by 14, and they still have yet to win a single game. But now for the UCF Knights starting quarterback, that will be Ryan Davis, a 74 overall redshirt senior. At running back, they have an 81 overall Josh Strong, who was actually injured. So we may see Calvin Greenwood today, who is a 77 overall with 92 speed. He could be a problem if he gets to the edge. And at wide receiver, they have Steve Kirk, who is an 80 overall with 90 speed, and Paul Horner, who is a 77 with 93 speed. And in the last video, I said we may have BJ Smith back for this game, but he is listed as doubtful, so I don't think he is going to be playing. So true freshman Chris McKinney will continue being the starting running back. Our defense has only allowed one touchdown apiece in the last two games. It was almost a shutout last week, but Houston would score in the last couple minutes or so in garbage time. But let's see if our defense can keep that streak up today. And it looks like we will be getting a rainy night game here, so this could get interesting. And UCF will start at the 25-yard line after the kickoff on first and 10. He takes a snap. It is a handoff to the fullback, and the fullback will cut up field and get a gain of four to start the game. Now second and six. He sends a man in motion. Takes a snap. It's a handoff to Greenwood, and Greenwood up the middle will fight for the first down, still going and brought down after a 15-yard gain. A two-yard run on the next play would set up a second and eight for UCF, and they come out with a play action. He will throw his first pass of the day, caught by King, and he will fight off one sooner and get shoved out of bounds after a gain of five. So now third and three, and he comes out with the entire running back room in the backfield with him. He's under pressure, but finds King over the middle for the quick first down, a gain of seven. Second and nine after a one-yard gain. They come out in shotgun here. Davis will look to pass again, and he throws to the outside and hits David Jordan right in the waist. How could you not pick that off? So now third and nine. Davis had a shotgun. It's a screen pass and he throws to the outside. Caught by Hayden, but he will lose two on the play. Fourth and 11. And the Sooners offense will finally get the ball today. We start inside our own 15 yard line and we will send Washington in motion. It's a handoff to Udling. Washington to the outside and he will only gain a yard. Second and nine. Downing comes out and it will be an option play and we will pitch that out to Chris McKinney. McKinney to the outside. We'll try to juke out some defenders. Chris McKinney with the first down, making one more person miss and getting a gain of 16 on the play. First and 10 out of shotgun. Downing will take the snap, play action to McKinney, and we'll go downfield for Udlane Washington, and that is incomplete. Second and 10. We will send McKinney in motion. Downing takes the snap, and a quick throw to the outside, caught by Wayne Outlaw for the first down, a gain of 13. First and 10, now Outlaw out of, I'm sorry, Downing out of pistol. We'll take the snap and take the quick throw over the middle, caught by Joey Miller, who will power his way for the first down, but fumbles the ball and UCF has recovered. I think he may have been down though. And the booth is going to review this. So let's see if Joey Miller was actually down. There's these breaking tackles and that is actually pretty close. I don't know, knee down and then ball out. I think we're gonna get to keep it. And they would overturn the call. So first and 10 from the UCF 45. We will come out and give it to Chris McKinney. And McKinney will get a gain of six on that play. An incomplete ball on second down would lead to third and four. Now downing out of a five wide set. We will take the snap. And we will throw that over the middle. That is caught by Jeff Benson, but he can't hold on through contact. And we line up for a 55-yard field goal attempt here on fourth and four. But we are faking it with Sean Griffin, who was blown up in the backfield. A loss of 10. They fully expected that, and UCF will take over. I know that was a risky play. We just got to hope it doesn't backfire on us. First and 10 now from the 50, and that will be a false start on UCF. Davis takes a snap. It's a read option. He will keep it himself. And Davis to the outside has a lot of room to run. And Davis will get the first down before getting brought down. A gain of 19 from a quarterback with 60 speed. First and 10. Davis back in pistol here. He will take the snap. It's another read option, but he hands it to his running back who was blown up in the backfield by Ashton Mills. A loss of three. Second and 13 for UCF now from the 40-yard line. Davis will take the snap. It's another handoff. This one to Greenwood. He is hit in the backfield this time by David Jordan. Third and 14. They come out in shotgun for this third down. Davis will run a draw play to King. And King trying to get to the edge. Stiff arms one man, but is brought down short of the marker. A gain of 11 to set up fourth and three. And they will send out their kicker for about a 48-yard field goal, I believe. 
and we have faced some pretty bad kickers recently so let's see if it continues the kick is away and this one will be off the upright and no good it bounced off both uprights we start this drive with a one yard game from chris mckinney now second and nine out of shotgun it's a read option downing will keep himself and tie downing juke into the outside will power his way for the first down a gain of 11. a two yard run following that play brings up second and eight for oklahoma downing out of shotgun will look to pass here and we're going to go over the middle for you lane washington who makes the catch into ucf territory a gain of 20 from our star receiver first and 10 out of shotgun for downing and we will run the play action and go deep over the middle that is once again caught by washington inside the 10 and he's brought down there a gain of 25 this time now downing from under center first and goal from the 10. we will take the snap and dump that off to sam lawson who can't make the catch second and goal out of shotgun after the incomplete pass downing will take the snap and we will go to wayne outlaw who will make the catch in the end zone touchdown oklahoma and we will score the first points of the game now first and 10 for ucf they come out at about the 28 yard line down by seven they start with a run to greenwood up the middle and greenwood with some good blocking has the first down down near the 50 a gain of 21 to start the drive now first and 10 for the knights davis back in shotgun here a minute to go in the first quarter he will look to pass he's standing back in the pocket and finally throws downfield and once again bounces right off an oklahoma defender that is now two plays that probably should have been interceptions now second and 10. Davis comes back out and it will be a handoff to Greenwood to the outside and he won't get anything back to the line of scrimmage third and 10 with 34 seconds to go here in the quarter Davis takes the snap and it's a screen pass that he's looking for he's under pressure finally throws downfield to a wide open man Paul Warner for a gain of 23 so the UCF drive will stay alive first and 10 from near the 30 yard line here out of a pistol formation Davis will take the snap, hand off to Greenwood, and Greenwood up the middle. We'll get another decent gain and another Golden Knights, or I'm sorry, just Knights first down. They actually dropped the Golden Knights, apparently. I actually did not know that they dropped the Golden Knights name until right before this video. They apparently dropped it in like 07, though. But now second and six, and it's a read option. Davis will keep himself to the outside, and Davis will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. They tie this game up at seven. Second and four out of shotgun. Downing takes the snap. And once again, we're going to Washington over the middle, and Ude Lane Washington is off to the races, and he might be going for his first touchdown today, and he is, and the Sooners will take the lead back 14-7. UCF would start with a one-yard gain on this drive, now second and nine. Down by seven, he sends more in motion. Davis takes a snap, and it's another read option. Davis will get the first down, and he is brought down after a 14-yard gain. Second and four, Davis out in shotgun here. He has Greenwood in the backfield with him. He takes a snap. It's another handoff to Greenwood, and Greenwood will make one sooner miss and get brought down to set up a third and one. So they come out for this third down in a pistol formation, and that will be a false start on UCF to make it third and six. And that will make this a little bit harder for the Knights now. Davis out of shotgun on third and six will take the snap. Looking to pass here, and he finally throws, and that's a wide open man for the first down, a gain of 12. Second and nine, Davis out of pistol here after a one yard gain. He will take the snap, it's another screen. He goes to the outside, caught by Greenwood, but he will be brought down by Jason Tremblay for a loss of one. Third and 10, another chance for the Sooners defense to get off the field. Davis out of a five wide set, will take the snap, dance around the pocket, throw down field, and that is knocked out of his receiver's hands. Fourth and 10. Second and nine, downing out of shotgun. Will take the snap, and it's a read option. He will keep himself and tie downing with the first down, brought down after a 13 yard gain. First and 10 from under center. Chris McKinney is in at running back. We will run the play action. And now we're going to go deep downfield for Ude Lane Washington, who will make the catch. And he is off to the races again inside the 10-5. And he is gone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. This time from 66 yards out, we make it 21-7. Second and nine for UCF. Davis comes out in a pistol formation. He will take the snap. It's a handoff to Greenwood, and Greenwood will try to power his way through, breaking tackles, and Greenwood's off to the races down the sideline. I don't think anybody's going to get him, and UCF is going to make it 21-14 to here in the second quarter. From 74 yards out, we get torched. And Benson will field this at the goal line. Let's see if we can get a return with it. We'll come back to the outside. Benson with a decent return here. Jeff Benson down the sideline, and they are going to torch us, and we will return the kick right back to make the lead 28-14 to from 100 yards out. Back down by 14. The UCF offense comes back out with a handoff to Greenwood to the outside, and Greenwood with another big run gets the first down, dragged down to the 45, a gain of 19. He is killing us today. First and 10 now for UCF from the 45-yard line. 
And it's a handoff to King up the middle who will break one tackle, stiff arm another sooner and get brought down after a nine yard gain to set up second and one. I have no idea what's going on with our run defense today, but we need to figure it out quickly. And that is another false start on UCF. Second and six now for UCF. It's a handoff to King to the outside and King will break one tackle and get brought down, but get the first down, a gain of six. Like I was saying earlier, I have no idea what's wrong with our run defense, but I hope we figure it out quickly. First and 10, out of pistol. Davis takes the snap, hand off to the outside, and Greenwood is hit in the backfield. That is a loss of one by Kawika Moore. Second and 11. Davis will take the snap, and it's a handoff to Greenwood up the middle, and this time Greenwood will power his way for another UCF first down, a gain of 16 on the play. First and 10. Davis out of shotgun. From the 30-yard line, he will send 87 in motion. And is that going to be another false start on UCF? Yes, it is. And a couple run plays after the false start. It is third and nine now. Davis out of shotgun. He will take the snap. It's a quick throw over the middle, and I don't know what the hell he was trying, but it's incomplete. So now they will send their kicker out for about a 47-yard field goal. I think I did that math right again. On fourth and nine, the kick is away, and this one he will actually make. A minute 44 in all three timeouts. Down he comes out in shotgun, and the first play will be hand off to McKinney, who will make a few people miss, and Chris McKinney still breaking tackles, and he ends up with a positive gain, but there is a flag down. What is this going to be? It's a face mask on McKinney, so that's another 15 yards added to that. That should have been a loss in the backfield. And after that is first and 10 from the UCF 49, and we will start with a read option, and Downey will get hit back into Sooner territory, a loss of three. So now second and 13, Downey will take the snap. It's another play action under pressure and hit immediately. A loss of six to bring up third and 19 for the Sooners. And we're letting the clock run down a little bit here just in case we don't get this. They only have 30 seconds left with the ball. Downey out of shotgun will take the snap. And we're going deep for Udlane Washington. He may have his third touchdown of the half and he will touchdown Sooners this time from 58 yards out. Tied down into Udlane Washington might be the best connection in the country. Third and six with 18 seconds to go in the half. Davis out of shotgun. Will take the snap and look to pass. He goes deep down the right side and that is caught for the first down. And that would stop the clock. So 14 seconds to go here in the half. Davis out of shotgun. Will take the snap. He's under pressure to screen pass to the outside. Caught by Greenwood and Greenwood will get brought down with eight seconds to go. They burn their second timeout. Second and three. Davis out of shotgun with eight seconds to go here in the half. Davis will take the snap and look to pass. He rolls out to his left side, lobs it downfield, caught by Kirk, who breaks the tackle, and he's brought down, I think, by his face mask, so there will be a flag. And now they will send their kicker out for a 41-yard field goal try here with three seconds to go in the half. That face mask definitely helped this. And now the kick is away, but it is no good. So it is 35-17 going into halftime. And now a quick studio update. TCU was number eight last week before they lost to Texas. And now they are down 24 to 14 to Baylor. First and 10, downing out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. And we'll throw the screen on the first play of the half to Chris McKinney, who will make some people miss. And on the first play of the half, Chris McKinney is going to be gone to make this 42 to 17. And that is a touchdown for Oklahoma from 78 yards out. So UCF comes out at the 28-yard line, down 42 to 17. Davis out of shotgun, will take the snap and look to pass. He will throw to the outside, caught by Palmer. That is a first down for UCF, a gain of 15. A couple of plays later for UCF, it is third and 10. Davis out of shotgun. It's a drop play to Greenwood, and he is hit in the backfield for a loss of one by true freshman Dwight Rollins. A 29-yard return from Josh Golden would set the Sooners up at the UCF 49 to start this drive. We will come out with a handoff to McKinney, and McKinney will break one tackle and get brought down for no gain. Second and 10. We're going to go right back to McKinney here off the counter play, and McKinney will run for the first down this time, a gain of 13. A couple plays later, it is third and seven for Oklahoma. Downing out of shotgun will take the snap and go over the middle, caught by Washington, but he will not get the first down. Fourth and two. And we will send kicker Jermaine Allen out to try to make it 45 to 17. This one's not a fake. The kick is away and it is good. Second and four, Davis out in shotgun with Greenwood in the backfield. They will look to pass again though. Davis throws the outside, caught by Palmer. He's got the first down and brought out of bounds near the 45, a gain of 11. An eight yard gain brings up second and two from the Sooners territory. Under pressure, but finds Palmer over the middle for the first down, a gain of 11. And UCF now faces another second and two after an eight yard gain. Davis out of shotgun will take the snap. 
Dropping back to pass, lobs downfield and has a man open, but he drops it. Third and two. Davis takes the snap. It's a drop play. Hand up to Greenwood, who will get the first down to the outside. Brought down shortly after that. A gain of four. Third and three a couple plays later. Davis comes out and will hand it to Greenwood. Greenwood up the middle. Will not get the first down this time. Fourth and one. I'll be honest, I am shocked they are not going for this. They are sending their kicker out for about a 30-yard try, and that's another false start on UCF. I believe that's number five. So now it's a 35-yard try. Their kicker has not been great today. He is one of three so far. So let's see if he can make it two of four. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and this one is good. And Benson will field this one at the five-yard line. And we get a couple great blocks. Benson down the sideline may have his second kick return today. Never mind, he will be caught, but there is a flag. He returns it all the way to the 20, but let's see where this flag lands. So instead of starting at their 20-yard line, we start at our own 24, but it is now third and four. Downing from under center. We'll take the snap, and no one's coming open. We will finally lob that downfield, and that one will be incomplete. Almost picked off, and we will punt it away on fourth down. Davis out in shotgun, we'll take the snap. And it's a drop away to King who was hit in the backfield by Ashton Mills and that will take us to the fourth quarter. Now a third and 14 after a no gain screen. Davis takes the snap, throws to the outside, caught by Moore and he goes out of bounds instead of a fourth and nine. And I am actually really surprised that UCF would just punt it away instead of go for it down by 25 points. But now a handoff to McKinney to the outside and McKinney will get the first down for a gain of 13. First and 10, downing from under center. We'll take the snap. And we will once again go to Washington over the middle who can't make the catch, straight up dropped it. Second and 10 out of shotgun. Downing will take the snap. And we roll out to the left side waiting for someone to come open. We're just gonna take off a tie down and get the first down and slide before that man can hit us. First and 10 from under center. Downing will run the play action and we will lob this to the end zone and that is caught by Washington. Never mind, that would have been his fourth touchdown. That's two drops on this drive from him. Second and 10, we will just come out with a read option to keep the clock moving. Hand off to McKinney. McKinney up the middle will get the first down and be brought down after about a 13-yard gain, I believe. First and 10, downing from under center. Will take the snap. Looking to pass here, rolling out to the outside, trying to escape the pressure. And he will be tripped up and sacked for a loss of 13. We would get a two-yard gain on the next play, but I just want to let you guys know I elected to take that sack. I could have thrown it away, but I wanted to keep the clock moving. But now third and 21, out of a shotgun formation. We will throw that screen out to McKinney. It worked once in this half, can it work again? And no, it can. Only a gain of six to set up fourth and 15. So Jermaine Allen will get to come out for his second attempt today. The kick is away and it is good. We are up by 28 points. And this is another Big 12 matchup. Six and one, Cincinnati is locked at 28 all with Iowa State who is one and six. So now first and 10 for Davis, down by four touchdowns with 4.29 to go in the game. They will look to pass. He throws to the outside, caught by King, who will break one tackle and get the first down, a gain of 12. Second and seven, Davis out of shotgun. He will take the snap and look to pass, goes over the middle, caught by Hayden for the first down into OU territory. Now second and 10 for Davis. He comes out in a pistol formation. He will take the snap, stand in the pocket, go over the middle, caught by Kirk for the first down, brought down near the 30, a gain of 17 on the play. Second and seven with three minutes to go in the game. Davis out of a pistol formation will hand off to Gant up the middle and Gant will fight for the first down, a gain of eight. Out of shotgun, Davis will take the snap and look to pass. He throws to the outside, that's caught by Cox and he will get brought down near the 10, a gain of nine on the play. Third and one, Davis comes out and it's a play fake, looking to pass, dances around in the pocket and finally throws it and that one will be caught. I try to take control of a defensive back because it doesn't matter at this point, but touchdown UCF. They make it 48 to 26. Or do they? They are apparently going to review this. There's the catch, and I think he drags that toe, but I guess we'll have to see what the game thinks. And they will give him the touchdown, so now they will try the extra point, which should make it 48 to 27, and it is good. And down by 21, they're going to attempt an onside kick. Let's see how well this goes for them. The kick recovered by Hollis, who just needs to go down, and he is brought down immediately. Now we just need to run down the clock with Chris McKinney, handoff up the middle, and McKinney will get a first down on the first carry, a gain of 15. First and 10 out of shotgun. And we will come out, give it to McKinney, who will come back inside, and Chris McKinney with a gain of 10, and that will put him over 100 yards today. And your final score is 48 to 27. We improved to eight, no, they fall to 0 and eight. 
this was one of the better offensive performances a team has had against us in a minute though we like i said before the game we'd only allowed one touchdown in each of the last two games well they put up 27 today all right so i'm a little confused i have no idea when in the hell this happened but apparently ashton mills threw a pass today our defensive end okay Ty Downing finishes today 11 of 19 for 361 yards and five touchdowns. He completed 11 passes for 360 yards. That is 32 yards a completion. On the ground, Chris McKinney, 14 carries for 102 yards. Ty Downing didn't do much on the ground today. And receiving Hugh Lane Washington, six catches, 248 yards and three touchdowns. He had two drops in the fourth quarter that would have vastly improved these numbers, including a fourth touchdown. McKinney, 3 for 90 in a score. Wayne Outlaw, 2 for 23 in a touchdown. And Jeff Benson was held to just two drops today, but he did get one kick return touchdown. And leading the team in tackles is a three-way tie between Jason Tremblay, Kawika Moore, and Jake Wright. Tackles for loss goes to Ashton Mills, who got three, apparently also threw a 13-yard pass. I will look for that in the recording, but I don't remember that ever happening. Uh, sacks, no one got any, and we also did not get any interceptions, so they played pretty well in offense today. And senior quarterback Ryan Davis goes 24 for 32, 198 yards and a score. On the ground, Calvin Greenwood, 21 carries for 179 yards and a touchdown. He was gashing us in the first half. Ryan Davis also ran in for a touchdown. And receiving, no one really put up huge numbers. The best one was Steve Kirk, 5 for 62. And then also, OJ Moore caught a touchdown. And just to update you guys on the studio updates that I showed in the middle of the game, Baylor defeated TCU 45-28. And Iowa State apparently pulled off a major fourth quarter comeback to defeat 6-1 Cincinnati 35-28. Yeah, scoring three touchdowns in the fourth quarter to take the lead. Impressive, Iowa State. But for week 11, we stay at number five and we will be traveling to Stillwater for Bedlam and taking on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time.